Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and if you are getting tired of Anycubic Castle 3D printing videos, then I say too bad. No, I'm just kidding. This will actually be my last video on this printer, I promise. I just did some final upgrades to it that uh, I was pretty happy with the end result, so I figured I would show it to you guys. I wanted to give a shout out to a YouTube channel called Nexi Tech. Um, I wanted to get a spool holder for the top of this 3D printer because it's separate from my other 3D printer, so I don't have the rig um, and this is the one that he used and it looked promising so uh, thanks for the recommendation it is a really cool spool holder that basically just goes on the top of the printer and makes it where I don't have to have a spool holder on the side and it uh, spins very well it was difficult to print one of the pieces the uh, plastic gear part it took me three different tries to get my like accuracy right the gears kept fusing together uh, but once I got it it worked beautifully um, this is the gear part I was talking about right here, but aside from that, um, I did a couple other little things like an LED upgrade. Uh, for those of you that are interested in this printer, links will be down in the description as always with the coupon code. If you do want to purchase through my link, it does help out the channel. If not, no worries, no hard feelings at all. Um, but yeah, so one thing I had to do was to flip the extruder uh, attachment part and put it on the top so that way it was close to where the spool was actually at and in doing so I had to extend the length of the uh, stepper motor cable which I basically did by snipping and soldering wires extending all of them and then I put a cable wrap around it to make it look a little nicer and then I wired up three strips of LEDs which are incredibly bright as you can see here they look just beautiful they look gorgeous I, I have to install LEDs on everything it's just what I do and um, yeah I think they turned out awesome I took a 3D model that I had made for my Fulgur Tech 2020 and modified it a little bit to house this switch and then I just used some zip ties, there's little inserts in the 3D model to zip tie it to the frame. Uh, I used T-nuts on the last one which does look a little cleaner but honestly I didn't really care. The black zip ties get the job done and it works so what the heck. Um, also another shout out to this guy over on Thingiverse, I, you know, I can't see his name and I don't remember it, but he posted a pinout of the Trigorilla board, which is the, what the Anycubic Castle uses, which allowed me to find where there was a 12 volt pin, um, so that way I wired the LEDs directly to the board versus having them running to the power supply, since my power supply is separate from my printer and not connected to it, I didn't want to have it where I couldn't unplug the power supply if need be. So. That is it. This is the end result saying goodbye to the Anycubic Castle 3D printer. So you guys will not have to see it for quite a while. Uh, on top of that, I went ahead and uploaded my lithopane lamp. I had quite a few requests on that video to do so. So I did go ahead and finally do that. So you've got the top, the bottom, and the frame that holds the LEDs. Uh, for those of you that do want to download, I'll have to get back to you on what size the panels were that I made and used. Um, I'm not totally positive, so you might have to experiment a bit with what panels will fit in this um, or modify it yourself. I did go ahead and upload along with the STL the actual 360 Fusion file, so you've got that. Uh, next in news, if you didn't know, I have a 3D printing blog called 3D Print Love. I've had it for quite a while and I was active for a while, but I've stopped being active. Uh, well, I got this email from Google saying that hacked content has been detected and the site um, was maliciously, I don't know, people posted malicious links on it or something like that. Well, I clicked on the links which um, Google recommended, which seems kind of sketch, but they were all 404 error, no redirecting. So I don't know if somebody just commented on the page with the malicious link, so it flagged something with Google or what the deal is. But as always with any site, make sure you proceed with caution. And I did post this a few days ago on Twitter, letting you guys know about this. So if you don't follow me on Twitter and you want to follow me at dopesunder930, you can figure out when I'm live streaming like I did tonight and if there's any important news. I do not spam a lot of stuff on Twitter, so you don't have to worry about getting a bunch of stupid tweets. Lastly, I went ahead and live streamed tonight, which was a lot of fun. It was random. I was making a piggy bank for my godson for his birthday, which didn't end up working out. I couldn't get it hollow once I had designed it. Uh, it was having all sorts of errors with creating a shell, but it was a ton of fun. A lot more people showed up than I anticipated, so I kind of went out and uh, compulsively bought a capture card, so that way I can hook up my DSLR to my uh, computer for streaming and just getting better videos for you guys along with some video gameplay which will be coming up so um, yeah there'll be a lot more streaming and that uh, yeah that concludes the video hope you guys are all doing fantastic don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace guys